off for the Tigers, number nine, Garrett Lester. Welcome to live coverage of Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. It's Republic and Carney in the second game of a doubleheader. And Republic will try to recover from a tough, tough loss in the opener to Park Hill South. Park Hill South, the team that's hosting this uh, three-way, three-team split doubleheader. Carney and Park Hill South played in the first one, and then Republic and Park Hill South in the second one. Finishing up here with Carney and Republic as Garrett Lester leads off against Bryce Page, big hard-throwing right-hander for the Carney Bulldogs. Next pitch to Lester is just off the plate inside. And that one is in. Lester <laughs> got out of the way, turns around, he's smiling. He was just glad to get out of the way of that one. Two and two. And that's a fastball high. Lean back from it. And he's worked the count full. Three and two. Lester in center field for this second game. Hughes at short. Harrington at first. Overstreet in right field. Wyatt Woods the catcher. Brett Hendrickson in left. And up and in. Ball four. Lester works a walk to lead off the first inning. Walk for Lester. Now batting number three, Devin Cooper Hughes. Pilkington playing second base instead of third in this game. Carter Nation is the DH. And Cannon Kroll, who was the DH last time, is at third base in this game. And it'll be Preston McCracken on the mound for the Tigers. Hughes showed bunt, pulled the bat back. That's ball one. Devin Hughes had a single in three at-bats and was also hit by a pitch in the first game of the day, and he hits it hard outside the third baseman and down the line, fair into the corner. Over by the line, it's picked up, and they hold Lester at second. So the first two runners are on against Bryce Page, and the hit from Hughes is his second of the day. First of the game, and Trace Harrington will bat. First pitch to Harrington is hit. I don't know where it was hit. It was hit to the second baseman. It was right in line with where I'm sitting. I couldn't see where the ball went. It went to the second baseman, and they turned two. So I was a little confused about what was going on, but it's a 4-6-3 double play. Lester advances. For the Tigers, now batting number 14, Jackson Overstreet. Harrington swung the bat, and I had no idea where the ball went because he hit it directly in line with where everybody was standing. The Lester at third with two outs now. And Overstreet is at the plate. Bryce Page trying to work out of an early jam here in the first inning. That one bounces up there, and we may have a play at the plate. No, Lester's going to cruise in, and the Tigers take the lead. So the wild pitch allows Lester to scamper in. And Republic takes a 1-0 lead. So now Overstreet bats with nobody on base, and he takes the ball. Next pitch is high. That's the ball. It's 3-1 and one to Jackson Overstreet. 
Well, they keep the scoreboard console over in the home dugout. And somebody over there keeps track of the scoreboard. And now that Park Hill South is not here to run the scoreboard over there in the home dugout, I think nobody at Kearney knows that's their job. They should be over there doing it for us, but they're not doing it. <laughs> so, well, you're not going to have a scoreboard update. And I'll just have to rely on the kindness of the home plate umpire to hold his fingers up there and keep us straight in the count. That's a walk, though, to Overstreet. He goes down to first. And Wyatt Woods will bat. And the first pitch is a strike to Wyatt Woods. And a little line drive off the glove of the shortstop. It goes into center field. Jackson Overstreet will round second, and he will slide into third, and the throw gets away. But, no, it goes through. It never popped out. It went into the dugout or through the gate or, yeah, into the dugout, and Overstreet gets to take home. So that's a rough play for Carney. That makes it two to nothing. And Woods now is at second base. And a swing and a miss at a fastball by Brett Hendrickson. Second pitch is a strike. 0 oh 2 now to Hendrickson with Wyatt Woods down at second base. Tigers already on top 2 nothing here at the top of the first. Good start for Republic after a rough loss in the opener of this doubleheader, and that one just missed the outside corner. One and two. Outside, ball two. Bryce Page has good stuff, has not controlled it especially well here in the first inning and that has led to two runs by Republic a walk a single and there's a high fastball a 4-6-3 double play hit into by Harrington Overstreet walked and then Woods Got the hit, and there's a call, strike three. So Hendrickson down on strikes, but the Tigers strike first. They scored two runs in the top of the first. We go to the bottom of the inning. Tigers on top, 2 nothing. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnaker Advantage. Tough customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnaker Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnaker family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnakerChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463. Or go online. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. 
medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Preston McCracken out there for the Tigers. And first batter is the lefty Chase Porter, center fielder for the Kearney Bulldogs. Tigers on top, 2 nothing. And McCracken drops a slider in there on the outside corner. No balls, two strikes. First time we've seen McCracken. He pitched at Lebanon and did not live stream that one. One and two now. He joined the team late, and there's a hard hit ball, a diving effort, but Pilkington can't get it, and it's a leadoff single on a ground ball through the hole on the right side. Chase Porter is on, and Manny Linthicum, the shortstop, will bat next for Carney, another left-handed batter. McCracken joined the team late, recovering from an injury. And has worked his way back. Got the start. Didn't pitch a lot of innings at Lebanon. But enough to get his feet wet a little bit. Got an inning of work in that game at Carthage. And back out there to start this one. His second start of the season. First pitch is a ball to Linticum. And a fastball is high ball too. That's a fastball, four strike. McCracken, a sophomore. And he will be a good one here for the Tigers the next couple of years. Trying to make his mark the last half of this season. Fastball fouled off, out of play. Two balls, two strikes. There goes the runner. Pitch is fouled off. Out of play, off to the left side. So the count remains two and two. McCracken comes set again. Here it comes. Curveball, and it's hit through the hole on the left side. Backhand by Hughes, and he throws to second in time for the out. Devin Hughes does it again. He picked it and got rid of it so quickly. And Pilkington was there to get the force. One out for the Bulldogs. Now batting number one, Carson Shear. So Lunthicum reaches on the fielder's choice. Carson Shear, the third baseman. And he takes the ball high, right-handed hitter. Want to know the count to Shear with Linthicum down there at first. And he hits it into right center field. It sends the right fielder over street back and he can't get it. Rolls to the fence. And we're going to have runners at second and third as they hold up Linthicum at third base on the double by Carson Shear. He put a charge into it, going the opposite way. Yeah. 
And Overstreet got back there, got a glove up, couldn't reel it in. So that's the second hit of the inning, and Carney's got two runners on with a one out. And Jack Helberg, their catcher, is hit by a pitch. And he's not very happy about it either, but he just tosses the bat and heads down to first. And now the bases are loaded. And it brings in Casey Rooney, the right fielder. Rooney will bat from the right side. Now batting number 10, Casey Rooney. Bases loaded. Carney trying to cut into a 2 nothing lead for the Tigers. And the first pitch is fouled off. Tigers lost the tough one in the first game of the day against Park Hill South. 6-5 in the bottom of the seventh. They have had a bunch of those this year. Curveball, and he just missed. Rooney laid off, and the count's even 1-1. One and one. Swing and a fly ball. That is drifting, and it's going to be fair in the corner. And two runs are going to score, and it's a double for Rooney. That ball just kept drifting over toward the line, but not far enough to go foul. It landed right in the corner. And it ties the game at two as Linthicum and Shear come in to score. Helborg goes to third, and Rooney at second. And that's the third base hit for Carney here in the inning. Two-two game and runners at second and third. That pitch is a strike. Breaking pitch. Cameron Webster, the second baseman for Carney. Grounds it to first. Harrington makes the play. Run is gonna score. It's an RBI for Webster. And the Bulldogs take a 3-2 lead. Now batting number six, Garrett Hodge. Go six, be aggressive up there. There you go. Swing and a foul out of play by Garrett Hodge, the first baseman. Hodge, the number seven hitter in the order. A single, a double, a hit batter, and a double have, uh, have Carney on top of 3-2. And there's a grounder through the hole past the diving Devin Hughes. Here comes another runner in to score. That's Rooney. And an RBI single by Hodge. Makes it 4-2. to two. J.P. Filger, the designated hitter, stands in against McCracken. Two outs, first inning. And the pitch is high by Preston McCracken. Tigers scored two in the top of the first, and Carney has answered with four in the bottom. And they lead it 4-2. Outside with a fastball. McCracken having a hard time keeping his hat on. Two balls, no strikes. And ball three. So three and other count now to Hodge. I mean to Filger rather. Hodge at first base. And there's a fastball four strike. Three balls, one strike. And a fastball. He swung and missed. Three and two.
There goes the runner. Curveball is a strike. He punched him out. Big sweeping curve. And McCracken gets the strikeout to finally in the first inning. But Carney scores four times on four base hits. There was a hit batter as well. And they've taken a 4-2 lead after one. We'll be back with the second inning after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Cooper Pilkington will try to get things started here for the Tigers, trailing 4-2 after the first inning. Pilkington, Nation, and Kroll, 7-8-9 hitters in the order. There's a hard ground ball cut off by the third baseman. Shear throws across, makes the play. First batter retired, that's Pilkington. By Bryce Page, the pitcher for Carney. And it brings in Carter Nation. First pitch to Nation is a fastball high and away, ball one. Nation's the designated hitter in this one after playing second base in the opening game of the day. He had a double, a walk. Uh, he was hit by a pitch, had a good game at the plate in the first game. And bats here in the second inning and pops it up. Into shallow left center field. Left fielder is in. And Bryson Morrison makes the catch. So two quick outs. That's three in a row set down by Bryce Page. And here comes Cannon Kroll. Now batting number 33, Cannon Kroll. Kroll, the third baseman for the Tigers. Reached base three times in four plate appearances his first time. And he reaches base again as he's hit by a pitch. First pitch got him on the forearm or on the uh, on the shoulder there. And he trots down to first with two away. And it's back to the top of the order in Lester. And he'll try to keep things moving along here and cut into a 4-2 lead that the Bulldogs have. Top of the second inning, two outs. First pitch is outside by Bryce Page. Lester walked and came in to score on a wild pitch in the first inning. And he takes a strike. One and one. Roll over there at first base, and the pitch popped back to the screen. Two balls, two strikes to Garrett Lester. And 
he slaps it at the shortstop. Scoops and shovels it over to the second baseman. Lester grounds into the fielder's choice. Carney is up four to two. And that ends the inning. Tigers had the one base runner on a hit batsman. That was Kroll, and he is stranded. We go to the bottom of the second. It's 4-2 Carney. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealtheyecenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Elliott Robinson & Company LLP, certified public accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliott Robinson & Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. Bryson Morrison leads it off in the second inning for Carney against Preston McCracken. Morrison, the number nine hitter in the order, the left fielder, and the first pitch to him is a strike. McCracken working from the windup. Outside, ball one. Morrison batting from the left side, and the outfield playing him pretty much straight away. Lays off a fastball high. It's two and one. And that's the ball. Lady Tigers soccer team won today. They beat Capital City. And they have won seven straight. That is the second longest winning streak in program history. Seven in a row. Congratulations to the Lady Tigers on their win today. And a fastball up and in. And he swung and missed. Would have been a ball, but he couldn't lay off, and that's a strikeout to start the second inning and the second strikeout in a row by Preston McCracken. Back to the top of the order, Chase Porter, who singled his first time up. First pitch from McCracken is a breaking pitch for a strike. Curve ball is outside. One ball, one strike to Porter. Fastball. A little bit late on it, and he went after it, fouled it back to the screen. So that's two strikes now on Chase Porter. One and two. McCracken's got him set up. And a curveball, and he got a piece of it to stay alive. That was a good good swing by Porter to get a bat on it. On that late-breaking, hard-breaking pitch from McCracken. Fastball is low. Two and two now. One out, bottom of the second inning. Good at bat by Porter. He's fouled off a couple of tough pitches when he already had two strikes. 
And that one, he laid off, and it is outside, not by much. Tigers wanted the call, didn't get it. Umpire said it was up a little bit. So three and two. And Porter trying to work a walk out of McCracken. Fastball is grounded to first, and it's tough hop, and McCracken didn't cover. And that is going to be... It's going to be a runner at first. Let's see what they end up scoring it. Going to call it a single. It's kind of a tough hop for Harrington. And now the bunt up the third baseline is going to be grabbed in foul territory by... Kroll, Lenticum tried to lay one down, and he comes back to first. Chase Porter at first base. There he goes. The pitch is a good one to throw on, but Woods threw it over Hughes and into center field. So that's a stolen base for Porter. Porter at second base now with the one out. And Linthicum like to drive him home. Pops it up foul. Out of play. Wind blowing in. And it's picked up here the last couple of minutes. Curveball is lined into center field. It's going to carry out to Lester. He makes the catch. Runner tags. And he will cruise into third base. So Linthicum is the second out of the inning. He hit it hard. But he's retired, advances the runner Porter to third base, and Carson Shear will bat. He doubled his first time up. Batting with two outs on a runner at third. First pitch for McCracken is curveball high, ball one. Swing and a foul tip. Curve ball, and that is fouled back to the screen. So that's two strikes now on Carson Shear. One ball, two strikes to Shear. McCracken trying to get out of trouble here in the second. Already behind four to two. And another line drive into right center by Shear. That's into the gap and rolls to the fence again. Hit it in almost the same place. This one may be a triple. Shear is going to dig for third, and he slides in there head first. And that's an RBI triple for Carson Shear. And he has hit the ball on the nose both times up. Hit it to the right center field gap both times. A double and a triple. And he drives in Chase Porter and makes it 5-2. to two. First pitch is a ball to Jack Helberg. There you go. Fly ball to deep right field, and that is off the fence. It's a double and probably a triple as he gets there with the head first slide and back to back triples by the Bulldogs, have scored a couple more runs. Triple by Shear, triple by Helberg, and now Casey Rooney will bat. And Josh Neufeld wants to come out and have a word with Preston McCracken, who's been batted around here and is now 
down six to two after the back-to-back -back triples by the Bulldogs. While they talk things over, we'll take a break. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Ready to go now. Casey Rooney will bat. He doubled his first time, and he takes a strike. A strikeout, a single, a flyout, a triple, and another triple, and two more runs have crossed the plate for Carney, and they lead it 6-2 off speed, and Rooney was out in front, and he's behind 0-2 as McCracken looks a little bit better after the visit from Josh Newfeld. Trying to finish this inning off and go back in and sit down for a while. That one stayed high, one and two. Cameron Webster on deck. Four runs in the first, two in the second for Carney. And after Republic had scored two in the top of the first, the Bulldogs have taken a 6-2 lead. That one in the dirt, ball two. Swing and foul back to the screen. That one hit the screen pretty hard. And umpire checking it over to see if it had any scratches. Now sticks it back in the back. He'll keep it in play. Didn't see any apparent gashes. Next pitch from McCracken is chopped to the right side. And a good throw by McCracken to Harrington. And that ends the inning. So Rooney has retired 1-3, but not before Carney added two more runs. And they lead it 6-2 after two. We go to the third. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Devin Hughes will lead it off in the third inning for Republic. Hughes, Harrington, and Overstreet. 2-3-4 in the order. Due up for the Tigers, trailing 6-2. First pitch is low from Bryce Page to Devin Hughes. And that one fouled off to the left side.
That pitch a ball, a little bit low. Hughes laid off, it's two and one. And that one hit him in the back. So Hughes turned away from it, got plunked in the back, and he's on base for the second time after singling in the first. Second time he's been hit today. He was hit in the first game of this doubleheader. And he's on to lead off the third inning. Brings in Trace Harrington. First pitch is high. Hughes is running. He makes it down there in time. Stolen base for Hughes, and he's in scoring position now for Harrington. Harrington was 0 for 3 with a walk in that first game. He hit the ball on the nose right at the left fielder. His third time up and was retired. But for the most part, Park Hill South handled him pretty well. That is hit hard, and it is just foul outside the line down the third baseline. And he continues to see the ball well and hit the ball hard, but that one he was a little too far in front of. Two balls, two strikes. Hughes at second base. Nobody out. That one is in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher. Hughes goes down to third on the wild pitch. Second wild pitch of the day by Bryce Page. And now Harrington with a runner at third and nobody out. Swings and misses. It's three and two. Rounder to short, run is going to score, and the out is going to be recorded. So Harrington grounds out to the shortstop 6-3. It's an RBI as Hughes crosses the plate, and the Tigers cut into that 6-2 lead, make it Now Jackson Overstreet, nobody on, and he lines it over the head of the first baseman. In a right field, that is a single for Jackson Overstreet. Second time he's been on base in this game. Walked and scored in the first inning, and now a single with one out, and he's down at first for Wyatt Woods. Woods singled his first time. Overstreet gets a lead over there at first. And a fastball is high. It gets away from the catcher. Wild pitch. And down to second base goes Jackson Overstreet. Second wild pitch of the inning. Third of the game by Bryce Page. Inside corner, Woods didn't like it. I just step back in there. And that one catches the outside corner. So two strikes quickly here on Wyatt Woods. Chopper to the third baseman, looks back the runner, and Overstreet kind of got caught in between, and now a wild throw is going to go into center field, and Overstreet is going to end up at third base anyway. So he held up, and then he didn't get back, so he was 
caught far enough off that they thought they might throw behind him. Meanwhile, Woods was, was retired. And then the error by the first baseman on the throw ends up allowing Overstreet to get to third base. So he's there with two outs and Brett Hendrickson bats. And takes a strike. Big hole over there on the right side. You see how much room there is between the first and second baseman over there. If Hendrickson wants to go that way and can go that way, that's a pitch outside, one and one. Over street at third base with two outs. A run already in for the Tigers here in the top of the third. They trail 6-3. And a fastball is high from Bryce Page. And Hendrickson skies it into shallow left field. It's in foul territory, and the shortstop caught it, and it ended up in fair territory. But he reached back and made the catch. That was not an easy play. But the shortstop, Manny Linthicum, reached behind him and caught it, and that ends the inning. Tigers do score a run. They had a base hit. And the hit batter, Hughes, is the runner who scored. He also stole a base in the inning after two and a half. Carney on top, 6-3. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel. They've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnegar Advantage. Top customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnegar family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it. With helpful advice and award-winning service in Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. New pitcher for Republic is Cannon Ellison. He replaces now, Preston McCracken four, here in the bottom of the fourth inning. McCracken, or the bottom of the third inning, rather. McCracken pitched two innings, allowed six runs, all of them earned, seven hits. He struck out two, did not walk a batter. And the first pitch is a strike from Cannon Ellison to Cameron Webster. Webster. Rounded out to the first baseman, Harrington, his first time. And he lays down a bunt. It goes on two hops right back to Ellison. He turns and throws. Smooth play by Cannon Ellison to retire Cameron Webster to lead off the third inning. And it brings in Garrett Hodge. Hodge, the first baseman, singled and was stranded back in the first. Drove in a run. Part of that four-run first inning for Carney, and he pops it up on the right side. In foul territory, Harrington over there, and he makes the catch. Yeah. 
So that's the second out. Two quick outs by Cannon Ellison. And J.P. Filger, the designated hitter, will bat. Struck out his first time. Pitches a ball inside. And that one's a strike. One ball, one strike to J.P. Filger. That one inside. Filger backed away from it. Two and one. And a pop-up over in foul territory again. Harrington shades his eyes. Makes the catch. And the inning's over. So two foul outs, a ground out back to Ellison, and quick work by Ellison to retire the side. One, two, three in the bottom of the third. Tigers will try to cut into the lead some more, trailing 6-3 as we go to the fourth. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Pine Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Pine Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Cooper Pilkington leads off in the fourth inning for Republic. Pilkington, Nation, Kroll do up. And a line shot, one hop right at the second baseman. Backed up a little bit. Took it out of the air and threw it over to first base. And Pilkin retired 4-3. So Cooper hit it hard, but he's out. And Carter Nation bats next. Nation slide out to left field his first time. First pitch missed outside, ball one. Bryce Page in his fourth inning of work for the Bulldogs. And that pitch catches the outside corner. And he hit it hard up the line in left field. That's going to be a single for Carter Nation. Line drive into left. And that's the first hit of the game for Nation. Number 33, Cannon Crow. Second hit of the day, and he's had a good day. Two base hits and walked twice in about a game and a half here to start things off. There's a swing and a little foul ball off the hands by Cannon Kroll. Strike one to Kroll. Kroll was hit by a pitch in the second inning. Back 
Bats with one out in the fourth. And takes the fastball first strike. And that's strike three. Kroll took a fastball and shakes his head and walks off. But he's out on strikes. That's only the second strikeout for Page. Page throws pretty hard. Seems like he ought to have more strikeouts with the stuff he's got. But that's only number two. And a swing and a pop-up. Out of play. Garrett Lester batting with two outs and Carter Nation over there at first base. Walked and scored, reached on a fielder's choice. And he takes one a little bit low. One ball, one strike. That one's a strike. Little breaking pitch. One and two now to Lester. Trying to extend the inning so Hughes can come up. And he took it low. Ball two. Thought that one might be the last pitch of the at bat, but umpire's hand never came up. Two and two. Fights one off to stay alive. Tigers scored two runs in the top of the first inning, but Carney answered with four in the bottom of the first. Added two more. Republic cut into the lead, and there's a line shot into the gap in left center field, and that may score a run. It goes all the way to the fence, and around third comes Carter Nation. He is going to score, and it's a triple for Garrett Lester. Lester roped that to the gap. And it's an RBI triple, and it makes the score 6-4. to four. Now batting number three, Devin Hughes. And now Devin Hughes bats. And keep in mind that Bryce Page has had trouble with the wild pitch today. I think he's thrown three. And Lester with good speed over there at third is going to be on his toes and ready to go. That one is low. Two balls, no strikes to Devin Hughes. Hughes singled in the first inning, was hit by a pitch in the third. He stole a base and then came in to score in that third inning. And he swings and misses at a pitch down and in, two and one. Harrington on deck. Tigers trying to fight back from an early deficit. And a grounder outside the bag at third. Foul. That one is low. Ball three. Three and two to Hughes. And the next one from Page is popped up, and it's going to drift out of play. Thought that the catcher might have a shot at that, but it was helped out of play by the wind. Probably would have been out of play anyway, but the wind blowing that direction, although it has lightened up a little bit from where it was. 3-2 pitch again with a runner on third and two away. Hard hit ball over toward the dugout. Everybody scatters over on the Tiger side. And that's strike three. Hughes 
hoped that he had walked. I won't say that he thought he walked because he didn't sound too surprised or seem too surprised when he heard the strike call from the umpire. He strikes out looking. That's the second strike out of the inning and the third strike out of the game for Bryce Page, and the Tigers leave Lester at third base. But they do score a run. They've cut the lead down to two. It's 6-4 Carney and Cannon Ellison will be back on the mound. When we go to the bottom of the fourth, back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Cameron Taylor is pinch hitting for Bryson Morrison. And the Kearney coach called timeout before the first pitch to make sure he'd reported. Just kind of like a, a panic moment. Uh, did I tell him to report in? And he had reported in, so trying to avoid the lineup mix up. Off speed, and he's way out in front. Swings and misses. Cannon Ellison has retired the first three batters he's faced, and he's trying to make it four here. Off speed stayed up. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. It bounced. It gets away from Woods. He's got to hustle out there and make a quick throw, and he does. So the strikeout by Ellison is his first, and the leadoff hitter is retired here in the fourth. Chase Porter bats. First pitch is a strike from Ellison. Off speed, off the end of the bat, a foul ball. Ellison came in. He got a comebacker to the mound. Another, uh, Then he got a foul out to first, another foul out to first. And then to start this inning, he's got a strikeout. So he has really channeled the uh, big hitters of Carney, but that ends with a line drive into left field and a single by Chase Porter. Porter is now three for three. And Manny Linthicum will bat. Linthicum 0 for 2. He reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the first. And flew out to center in the second. Batting now in the fourth with one out and a runner at first. First pitch from Ellison to him is a strike. Owen one. And they got him picked off. Runner was going, and the throw down to second is in time, and Hughes took a took a cleat to the hand, and he is shaken up. And the runner, Porter, kind of checks on him. He didn't mean to do it, but 
Hughes took the throw, and the cleat, or the, the shoe, went right into his arm there as he took the throw. So the pickoff throw by Ellison caught Porter off guard. Porter took off for first, uh, for second from first. And Porter is retired 1-3-6. Hughes is okay. He's going to stick around. And good to see that. Two outs now. And Linthicum bats with nobody on base and two away. And swings and misses. Wait on him, Manny. Wait on him. Carson Shear on deck. Do not want to face Carson Shear with the runners on base based on the first two at bats. He's got a double and a triple. And there's a little foul ball down the line. And Kroll couldn't get back to make the play. Wasn't hit high enough. It didn't hang up long enough for Kroll to get back there. So it's a foul ball. And there are two strikes now on Manny Linthicum. O2 count, Ellison trying to finish off the lefty. Lefty against lefty, and that one curves up there and is a ball. There's a swing and a grounder under the glove of Ellison and a bare hand play by Hughes. He made the throw, but not in time. I don't know how Hughes managed to make even that play as close as he did. Watch him come in, and with the bare hand, you just don't see shortstops bare hand the ball very often. It's an infield single for Linthicum. And now, Carson Shearbats takes a strike. 0 and 1. Shear doubled in the first and tripled in the second. Batting now with two outs in the fourth. And he hits it deep to center field. Lester goes back, comes in, makes the play. And Shear is retired for the first time, and that's two innings in a row without a run for Carney. They did have a base hit, an infield single by... Well, they had two base hits. They had the infield single by Linthicum and the single by Porter, but he was cut down trying to steal off the pickoff throw by Ellison. So Ellison works around the two base hits, and we go to the fifth. It's 6-4. Carney on top. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, certified public accountants, is Republic's local full service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our By the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson and Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 530 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me.
When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Trace Harrington leads off the fifth inning against the new pitcher for Carney, Camp Cunningham. Camp Cunningham. And it is hit deep to left, but the wind's going to hold it up and push it back in. And Harrington is retired on the fly out to left field. One away. Overstreet takes the strike. Jackson Overstreet walked and scored in the first inning, singled and was stranded in the third, and that one bounces up there. That's a ball to Jackson Overstreet. Two balls, one strike to Jackson Overstreet. Next pitch from Camp Cunningham is served into right field, and it is right at the right fielder. Second fly out of the inning, one to left, one to right. Two quick outs for the Tigers in the top of the fifth inning. And Wyatt Woods will bat next. First pitch is outside to Wyatt Woods. Ball two. And a swing and a grounder to short. Long throw in time to get Woods by a step. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for the reliever, Camp Cunningham, who came in to replace Bryce Page. Tigers go in order in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and Carney is on top 6-4. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. 
PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel, they've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Batting number three, Jack Helberg. Bottom of the fifth inning, Jack Helberg comes to the plate. First pitch from Cannon Ellison is a strike. Helberg was hit by a pitch and scored in the first inning. He tripled in the second. Batting now for the third time, this time against Cannon Ellison, the first time they faced each other, and he takes one on the outside corner for a strike. One ball, one strike. Up and in, two and one. Breaking pitch stayed a little bit high. Three balls, one strike to Jack Helberg. He's the cleanup hitter for this Bulldog lineup, and they're a good one. Leading 6-4. And that one stays high, ball four. So a leadoff walk to Helberg. First walk issued by Ellison, who has been pretty good in relief of McCracken. Set Carney down in order in the third. Number 10, Casey Rooney. A lot of couple of hits, but worked around them in the fourth. And now the leadoff hitter on in the fifth. As Casey Rooney comes to the plate and fouls it back to the screen. Rooney, a double a run scored. He's one for two. Helberg takes the lead at first. Not going anywhere. That pitch is high and away. One ball, one strike. On deck, Cameron Webster. Ellison could use a double play ball here. Checks the runner at first, and he throws over. Back easily is Helberg. There goes the runner. Nope, he stopped. Started to take off. It's two and one as that pitch missed. Popped up into center field. Lester's got a beat on it. Comes in, makes the catch. Runner retreats to first, and Rudy's retired. First out of the bottom of the fifth inning. And it brings in Cameron Webster. Number four, Cameron Webster. Webster is 0 for 2. Does have an RBI. Drove in a run on a ground out. There goes the runner. Throw down is not in time. It gets away, but it's not going to be quite far enough. Stayed on the infield and... Hughes was able to run over there and chase it down before Helberg could take off for third. Stolen base, 
Puts a runner at second with one out. And Woods and Ellison will talk, th- talk things over. Swing and a pop up. That is going to drift back out of play. Two strikes now on Cameron Webster. Looking for his first hit of the game. Ellison trying to finish him off and get the second out of the inning. And that one bounced up there. Grounder to Hughes, scoops and throws across in time. Webster out by a couple of steps, 6-3. Runner goes to third, that's Helberg, and he's there with two outs now. After the leadoff single in the stolen base, Garrett Hodge will bat. Hodge singled in the first inning and fouled out to Harrington his second time up. So he's one for two. And he takes the pitch on the inside corner. Strike one. Cannon Ellison has been pretty good today. Trying to get out of trouble here with a runner at third and two away. And a pop-up. Playable for Overstreet. Drifts in, makes the catch. And another scoreless inning turned in by Cannon Ellison. Lead off walk to Helberg, but he worked around it. Carney fails to score. We go to the sixth. Carney on top, 6 4. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnegar Advantage. Top customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnegar family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Brett Hendrickson leads things off in the sixth inning for the Tigers. First pitch was a ball. Next one is also a ball. Both of them low, 2-0. and And ball three. And 
Hendrickson taking all the way. That one is fastball for a strike. Hendrickson 0 for 2. Struck out looking in the first. Popped out to the shortstop his last time up. And he takes it. Oh, he took a strike on the outside corner. He was just about to toss the bat away. And he'll step back in there on a 3-2 count now. That one's outside, and that time he does toss the bat and take off for first. The leadoff walk. First walk issued by Camp Cunningham. And Cooper Pilkington will bat. He's 0 for 2. Batting now in a big situation. Late innings. Sixth inning, and the leadoff man on. Tigers down by two. They would like to turn the tables on that first game where they lost in the late innings and come from behind here to beat Carney. That one, a good pitch. That was looked like it was coming inside and tailed back over the inside corner. One and one. And that one's strike two. Good location that time by Cunningham again. Cunningham, a senior. And a slow roller to third. Throw to second in time for the first out. They are not in time to get Pilkington at first. So Hendrickson is out. 5-4. Fielder's choice allows Pilkington to reach. And Carter Nation will bat now. He's one for two with a run scored. Singled his last time up and scored. First pitch is a ball. Fastball outside. Tigers scored two runs in the first. They scored a single run in the third, a single run in the fourth. And they trail it 6-2. They gave up four runs in the first and two in the second. Carney has been quiet since then, but it's 6-4. And they had the runner leaning, but Pilkington dives back in. Cunningham, the lefty, a little tricky over there to the runners at first, similar to Ellison, the lefty, pitching for the Tigers, and Carter Nation did swing at that. One out, runner on first. That one way outside. Two balls, two strikes. And he hits it to center field. Coming in is the center fielder. He makes the catch. Back to first goes Pilkington. Two away in the top of the sixth inning. And Cannon Kroll bats next. Now batting number 33, Cannon Kroll. First pitch to Kroll is a strike. Kroll 0 for 1, hit by a pitch in his first plate appearance. Struck out looking his last time. Swings and misses. It's 0 and 2. Hendrickson drew a walk to lead off the inning, was forced at second, and now Pilkington is there in his place. And there are two outs and a little chopper foul. Two-strike count on Cannon Kroll. That one is high and away. Ball one. And that's ball two as Cunningham missed high and away. Garrett Lester do next. Outside with a fastball. Ball three. And Kroll trying to work a walk after falling behind 0-2. Nice swung and missed. So he strikes out. And Cunningham, after walking the leadoff hitter, works out of trouble. 
First strikeout for Camp Cunningham, and the Tigers retired in the sixth. We go to the bottom half of the sixth. 6-4 six, Carney, and back to the mound will go Cannon Ellison, trying to keep him right there. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. J.P. Filger leads it off for Carney in the bottom of the sixth inning. And the first two pitches, balls to J.P. Filger. Filger 0 for 2, struck out facing Preston McCracken to end the first inning and then popped out in foul territory to Harrington. His last time up, and he pops it straight up on the infield. Who wants it? Cooper Pilkington, the second baseman, comes in and makes the catch. And Filger is 0 for 3, and that's the first out of the sixth inning. Now batting number 23, Bryson Morrison. Brings in Bryson Morrison. Ellison has been good in relief. Came in in the third and set down Carney at order. Shows bunt, pops it back. That's a foul ball on a strike. Set down Carney in order in the third and hasn't allowed a run in his first three and a third innings of work. Has allowed a couple of base hits. Walked the leadoff man in the fifth and worked around it. And a swing and a foul ball. Kind of a weak swing there by uh, Morrison who was out in front a little bit, off balance. Facing the lefty. And I talk all the time, left-handers don't have to face a lot of left-handers. It's not like right-handers. And that time he got a better swing on it, and he lines it. But Overstreet is there to come make the play. Good play by Overstreet. He got a good jump. And Morrison hit the ball hard, but out. Second out of the inning. And Ellison trying to set him down in order, but he's back to the top of the order, and the top of the lineup has been very good for Carney. Porter is three for three. He scored a run. He stole a base, and he's up there for the fourth time looking to make it a perfect day. And the first pitch is a strike outside corner. Curveball, and he pops it up the line, and it is tracked down over there by Brent Hendrickson, and that is the second 1 2 3 inning turned in by Cannon Ellison. Did it in the third, did it again in the sixth, and he's kept the score close. So the Tigers have a chance in the seventh. We'll see what they can do. Top of the order for the Tigers Lester, Hughes, and Harrington as they try to come from behind against Carney. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. 
Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. New pitcher for Carney to come in and try and close things out is Easton Haggart. And he'll face the top of the order. Garrett Lester first. And the first pitch is a strike to Garrett Lester. That one low and in. Up and away. And the count's full three and two to Garrett Lester. And ball four, so Lester walks to lead off the seventh inning as the Tigers try to come from behind here. And that's what they needed to start the walk from Lester. Now batting number three, Devin Hughes. Brings in Devin Hughes. Hughes single, hit by a pitch, struck out looking his last time. And that one's a ball low. One ball, no strikes to Devin Hughes. Lester not going anywhere over there at first with the Tigers down two runs. And it hit him. Hughes shakes his head, tosses his bat, and I'm sure he's glad to be on, but not happy with the way it happened. That's the second time he's been hit in the game. And the third time he's been hit today. So... The first two runners have reached, and all of a sudden, the tying runs are on, and Trace Harrington is the go-ahead run. Harrington 0 for 3. 
What a way to turn it around this would be. Let's see what he can do. First pitch is hit. High into left field. It is in foul territory, and it's going to be caught. And so Harrington is retired. First out of the inning. Now batting number 14, Jackson. Over. Got under it a little bit, and there's one away. There's a hard hit ball to short, backhand, and it could be two. They get one, and the throw is in the dirt. Gets away. Lester's going to scurry home. That makes it seven, or rather a six to five. Hughes is retired. Six four on the force out. Lester scores on the error. Now batting 26, Wyatt Wood. And Overstreet is at first base. He's the tying run. And we're going to have a pinch runner. So Overstreet comes out. And Jackson Taylor will come in to run. It'll be interesting to see if they would try to steal here. That would be risky, but might make sense. Taylor's got a small lead over there. I think he's in there not to steal the base so much as to have the speed on an extra base hit by Woods. Woods one for three. And he chops it foul outside the base over toward Kirk Plotner in the third base coach's box. One ball, one strike to Wyatt Woods. Tying run is at first base in the person of Jackson Taylor, pinch running for Overstreet. And that one is a curve ball outside. Two balls, one strike. On deck, Brett Hendrickson. Easton Haggard has allowed one run. Trying to close it out for Carney. And there's a swing and a shot foul out of play off to the right side, and the Tigers down to their last strike. Two balls, two strikes to Wyatt Woods. Taylor gets a lead over there at first. Curve ball, stayed high. Three and two. So with a 3-2 count, that's big because Taylor will take off. There he goes. And a shot foul over toward the dugout on the Tigers' side. Stays 3-2. and two. Taylor will retreat back to first base. So Taylor gets a head start. Anything in between the outfielders, he's got a much better chance of scoring now with a 3-2 count. Haggard, tra Haggard trying to finish things off. Next pitch to Woods is on the way. And a pop-up foul out of play. Woods hanging around, staying alive, keeping the game going. Trying to get that tying run in. Tigers lost by a run on a walk-off win by Park Hill South in the opener of this doubleheader. Trying to return the favor and do it to Carney. 3-2 pitch is on the way. And he bounced it up there, ball four, and Taylor is going to round the bag, and he's not going to take third. Thought for a second he might have an opportunity to get to third base, but he holds up at second. The walk to Woods puts runners at first and second. That's the go-ahead run at first in Woods, and Hendrickson bats. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. And he swings and misses, 0-1. Hendrickson struck out in the first, popped out to short in the third, and he walked and was forced out in the sixth on a subsequent ground out. Trying to keep the rally alive, he takes it high, ball one. One ball, one strike to Hendrickson.
big gap in right center field. If he hits it there, two runs would score. And he takes it on the inside corner. One and two. Could have gone either way, and that one went to Carney. One ball, two strikes. And a hard grounder. It is picked by the third baseman. Throw across is in time to get Hendrickson by a step. And Carney escapes with a one-run win. So the one-run woes continue for Republic. They lose it 6-5 in the second game of the doubleheader. I'll be back to wrap up the broadcast after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Well, a couple of big innings to start the game were enough for Carney. Republic scored two in the top of the first. Carney scored four in the bottom of the first. That made it 4-2. They added two in the second inning. That made it 6-2. That's all they needed. Tigers pecked away but couldn't get back in front. Scored a single run in the third, a single run in the fourth. Scored another run in the seventh and fell short, losing it 6-5. Six runs, nine hits, one error for Carney. Five runs, five hits, no errors for the Tigers. Winning pitcher for Carney is Bryce Page. And the losing pitcher for the Tigers, Preston McCracken. Well, Tigers were in both games, but lost both today. And they finish with a record now of 13 and 11. And they will head back home, long trip home after dropping a couple here in Kansas City. That's going to do it from Park Hill South High School. Tigers lose this second game 6-5. And they will be back in conference action next week. And uh, we'll have full coverage of that, of course, on Republic Tiger Sports. Carney wins at 6-5 over Republic. Thanks for watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports.